Hi, I'm Ria Mulder. Last year in December, I was looking for a place. I'm still homeless. I've actually squatted a place as of February. And now Dakai, who is the voting corporation for the <clears throat> house, the apartment that I've squatted in Amsterdam Oost, um, they've now taken me to court within four weeks of squatting the place. And um, I'm now standing here ready to go into court in a few minutes and uh, I'm pretty disappointed and upset that they weren't um, willing to negotiate with me. They may still, but I doubt it. My lawyer has said that she thinks there's no chance of me winning and not only will I have be homeless again and out on the street with my daughter and have no right to a house, which I do have a right to, but apparently no one wants to uphold that. Um, I'll have probably fines and fees, court fees, and possibly fines. Not hundreds of euros, but probably thousands of euros. And I had a feeling that this would happen in worst case scenario, but apparently that's how the voting corporations operate. Um, they claim that they want me to move out so they can rent to a student, but here I am, a person who is also in need of a place, who has also been on the, on the voting net yeah. list for years. I have a child, and instead of offering me another place to live, or just giving me a rental contract, they'd rather put me out on the street so they can rent to a student. I don't think it's a fair argument. I don't think it's a correct argument. Actually, that housing that I'm in has other empty apartments, so it's not that they specifically have to have my apartment. Um, the fact that they're trying to say that it's only student housing is not true. There's many other people, single people and adults that aren't students that live there. Um, maybe they're just now converting it to a student housing or they're just saying that because they don't want me in there. I don't know. Um, I don't think that it's, it's, it's right because I know there's other student housing and um, a mother with a child, I feel, has more necessity than a student who could li still live at home and wait for that student housing. So a woman on the street with a child is, you know, who needs a place, sorry, they do take precedence over a student and to me that's an excuse. I'm afraid that again I'll be wandering from place to place with all of my belongings or having to let go of all my belongings because I won't know where to keep them. Again, asking people to stay with them, um, inconveniencing people, upsetting my daughter. She doesn't know where home is. She has no home. Um, she thinks every place that we stay for a few weeks is her home and then again she has to go to a new home. Um, I'm afraid that again, I'm just my life is on hold. I have no life. I can't enjoy life. I can't do the simple things. I can't even pick up a, a book to read. I, I feel that um, unstable that I can't even sit long enough to read a book. Um, and that's the state of mind that I will again be in even more so than I have been. And it's just the battle continues and the battle goes on and I'll just continue being homeless with no one really caring no one considering my my position and if I take a stand for myself no one cares and not only do they not care they make trouble for me by dragging me into court and making me pay court fees and fines and putting me back out on the street with no stability no safety and no security so it's just it's exhausting well, what I expect from the social system of Holland is to be a social system and provide adequate housing or not make such laws that bind you in catch-22s where I can't even move to another city where I can afford the, the rent, whereas in Amsterdam you can't afford any rent. So I don't know what kind of social system that is that doesn't protect its own citizens against money-making corporations who are not citizens. It's just an entity, a profit-making entity for that matter, 
I'm not looking to make profit, I'm looking to survive. I'm looking to be a citizen who has the right to peace and sanity and prosperity. And if I'm denied that, how can I function? And how can a society that doesn't provide that for its people call itself a social system or even a, a fair society or anything other than a brute force which provides for those who have money but not for those who don't and actually makes it harder for you when you don't have money by fining you and making you a criminal because of that so and in the future I just uh, hope that someone will recognize that I do have rights and what my rights are and honor my rights and provide me with the housing that I have a right to and that's what I would like to see that's what I would like to see happen and that's what needs to happen when that happens or whether that happens I don't know I would just like to say that it's unfortunate that we live in a society that the people who need the most help, the victims, and those that are in unfortunate positions are the ones that are kicked around the most and helped the least. And people can claim that they give in charity or they do social things for those people, but unfortunately, that's just, um, sorry, but it's for show. It's not adequate. And when it really comes down to it, it's, it's not what, what it's claimed to be. And I feel that that's a very unfortunate aspect of society. And in, in the Netherlands, which is probably one of the richest countries in the entire world of all the nations, that me, who is a citizen of this country, has to fight for my right to have a house when I have a child to think about and the complexities of raising a child in a society that doesn't support me what does that teach her what does that say to her so that's it's unfortunate and I just hope someone will recognize that and honor my rights that's what I hope for because that's that's the most important thing that, that any human can, can ask for is for their rights to be honored. Not, not that they should even have to ask for that, it should just be, it should be a given, it should be a guarantee. So it's unfortunate that I'm standing here in front of this court having to ask for my rights, rather than my rights being honored.